next thing we'd like to recognize is uh, Franklin High School received an award from the Southern Rodeo Association. Uh, and this award is the Small Rodeo of the Year for 2016. Part of the rodeo. Um, okay. Certainly an outstanding event for the community and the school. I got some people I'm going to bring up. That's all right. Uh, Ms. Collins, uh, FFA, Mr. Doster from the Fair Board, and uh, Brett Woody from the Guard of the Rodeo. As the board knows, we came with a fundraiser request last year to do a rodeo at the fairgrounds. It's been, I think, 20 years since we had a rodeo out there. This took a lot of hard work from a lot of people behind the scenes. And first of all, I want to thank the fair board for letting us have the facility to do that you know, and do the rodeo out there. Uh, Ms. Collins, she'll talk a little bit more about it in a minute, how it all came to tuition and everything. Uh, on November 5th, I got to go to the Southern Rodeo Association final for South National Carolina. I got to receive this award, but had no idea we were getting it until we got it. And uh, I'll let Brett talk about the Southern Rodeo Association in a minute and the Bar W on that, what that is. But this is a pretty big honor for the first year to have the rodeo back in Franklin. And uh, the contestants vote on this. This is not a committee vote. The contestants that come here and participate in the rodeo, which we had close to, I think, 100 participants in that rodeo. About 125. 125 contestants come to Franklin. And I, at the finals, I asked a few of them, I said, you know, what goes into this? They said the crowd was enthusiastic, the facility was great, and they spend money here. They go eat in restaurants, stuff like that, and they said the community was just overwhelmingly supportive, and they felt at home when they came through Franklin, and that was a big push for that. So that always speaks well, Franklin High School, it speaks well to the Franklin community in Macon County for the hospitality they showed those people while they were in town. So I'll let... Uh, can you talk a little bit about how it came, Mr. Doster, anything to add, and then Brett and Kay, about the Southern Rodeo Association? Yeah, we were really excited. Um, Mr. Fitz, who used to be one of the active teachers there at the high school, um, he was in the rodeo, so we were fortunate to have him, and he came up with the idea. He's like, he goes, Jenny, why don't we do a rodeo? And I'm like, I am clueless. I said, I know that there's people, and they get on animals, and I get the point of it. I said, but other than the background stuff, I said, I'm clueless, so it's all in your hands. And so he knew Brett, they kind of go back a few years, and they started talking, and then we all kind of met together, and unfortunately, it was this, I don't know the job, but that's okay. Brett and I still work together on this, and it just came together so well. Um, it took a lot of hours and a lot of money to put on. It um, cost about $16,000 to put on, so it was a lot of time and effort. Um, but we had an amazing turnout. The Friday night that we had the rodeo, we only had about five other people come. But it was raining, and so we're like, it's okay, it's okay, you know, we're, it's going to be good. So Saturday came around, and we had over 2,000 people. We did not have a perfect spot left, and it was amazing. And so, you know, very thankful, again, for the fair board for allowing us to have it, and for Brett, um, who was very easy to work with. And then I got his dad as a teacher um, later on, so that was even, you know, cool to have that there. So, you know, thank you guys as, a, as the board for allowing us to approve it, you know, for allowing us to have this, and um, we're going to do it again this year. And, again, yeah, just super excited. So thank you guys. Um, you know, board thanks for letting us come to this. This is a, a great rodeo. It's kind of a balance for it. But it's a great community event. That's for the family. You know, you can bring your kids, your grandparents, or whatever, and they can come and enjoy it. Um, like Ms. Collins said, you know, we had a great turnout. You know, all of us work in the community. And at that award, I was right at a thousand people in the Southern Rodeo Association. And they vote, you know, there's 78 rodeos throughout the year, so that just goes to show, you know, how how well they love it and what way they do <coughs> the community, the the place, the community, you know, the stock on our part, make sure it's good and everything. And, you know, we enjoyed it and we looked forward this year making it even better than it was last year. And I know it was a great fundraiser for the kids and uh, we learned, you know, a lot about it that you don't see just by the by common sense. Well, I just like to say thank you and give us opportunity to do it. And one thing that he mentioned about fundraising, and that was the whole point of doing this, I forgot to mention, was we were able to take, um, it was close to 20, no, 32 students to state convention in Raleigh for a three day competition paid for all expenses, even spending money on doing this fundraiser. So you know, that's why we're doing it again. It's just a great, great benefit to our students.
I'll tell you what, I, I'm old enough to remember when they used to have a rodeo here. But we hadn't seen one in many years. My girlfriend had never seen one. We traveled all summer. We went to Hawaii, the rodeo. We went to West Yellowstone. We went to Hazel before we left here. We went to Cody, Wyoming, which is one of the best in the country. And this little town, the rodeo you people put on, was, I'd compare it, maybe not to Cody, but to any of the rest of them. I'll tell you that. So, she's hooked. <laughs> Again, you know, I have to thank Dr. Bowen Lord, for your support to allow us to do this, Mr. Collin for our hard work, Mr. Dosh for the support of the fire board, and of course Brett for the stock and the bar W their part into it. We're very pleased for this is like you said, a thousand people voted on this and we got this and we were very honored to get this and look forward to competing for it again this next year, so April twenty first and twenty second. So mark down on your calendars, we'll be doing it again. That's so, thank you.